My friends, welcome. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a Call of Duty ghost loadout in real life. Let's go. All right, the most important item, the ghost mask. How did I make it? So first of all, I actually bought the ghost mask for 20 pounds and plus the balaclava was about 15. It was 3D printed, then I painted it all up and then added some extra detail onto it. You need a long balaclava. It's like a motorbike go-karting balaclava. So it's extra long. And then one of the final touches is add some black face paint around your eyes. It just looks cooler. So on top of the mask is a FMA fast helmet with some replica dummy night vision goggles. I also added the two white stripes along the helmet. Um, this is white sellotape and I added some black paint because I didn't actually want to paint on the helmet because I use it all the time for different loadouts. Then I added all the other accessories. So we got the headphones on there, which currently aren't on there, Jay. I've taken them off for another loadout. Then we got the night vision pack. We have this little beacon thing on the back and uh that's pretty much it pretty simple so now onto the jacket this isn't the actual jacket he uses but it's very similar he actually uses something more like this but i didn't want to buy any items for it i bought the mask and stuff um because i've got loads of other loadouts i'd rather spend my money on at the moment rather than little things like this i probably won't use it that often so i thought i used this jacket I already had and went for a full black loadout so this is a pentagon r taxes soft shell jacket in black and it's uh, by military first and they have a bunch of different colors on there and these jackets it's a sick so i thought i'd use that and then just make a black full loadout the actual one he uses in the game is like a dark blue then so one of the main items is the plate carrier by warrior assault systems in full black can't really show you with one hand i should really just clip my mic in so i tried to recreate this item by item there's a few items which i didn't have identical and the plate carrier is very slightly different sized so some of the items didn't fit on there properly but overall pretty happy with it we had a fake dummy radio on the side we had the magazine pouches and on the actual one he has three pistol mag pouches on the front but i don't have those so this is the closest actual mag pouches i had we've got some glow sticks on the front we've got ptt for our radio the headphones i used were by Irma. on the back of his plate carrier he actually has loads of accessories isn't the correct one but i flipped it upside down so it looks very similar to the one from the game items on the back like flash grenades mags all that kind of stuff so your teammates behind you can uh if they need to reload or grab something they can grab it from your back then i also had the breaching sledgehammer i couldn't find these online or replica dummy ones you can buy a real one but it's about 500 pounds which is cool but i don't actually need it when am i ever going to use that so i just made a fake one i got some cardboard uh cut it all out and stuff and then painted it up and then overall it looks pretty cool it's not 100 percent accurate to be honest it looks cool for a tiny bit of detail then i also had the trousers hang on they're on the floor here somewhere trousers i used are by viper tactical which you can also get from military first and he also actually uses one knee pad because some people were like you missed the second knee pad bro i saw he only had one knee pad so i only added one knee pad this was actually green uh, but the one he uses is black so i just painted it black oh wait where's the gloves so i don't want to buy any gloves like i said so i just painted them they get the job done so yeah i just got some cool black tactical gloves i already had just painted them up and there we are there's a ghost gloves we also had a belt bro where did i put all this stuff i should have been more organized i'm sorry guys we also have the battle belt here with a pistol holster and some other little accessories on the belt you can put whatever you want on there he doesn't actually have too many items on his belt yeah he does actually have a pistol holster on his leg i don't have one that he actually uses so i just put it on the belt and the boots i used were just black boots by magnum that is the loadout i also didn't have the gun he uses i think he uses a sig but i don't have a sig i have loads of other guns but i don't have a sig it's on my list but if you guys have any questions on how i made this you guys can go and leave me a comment below or you can go and join the true mobster discord and go and ask some questions in there and hopefully someone would have answered them for me <laughs>